characters, you know, Aquaman, Superman, Batman, everybody is is aware of. But, oh, yeah. you know, the introduction of, of Supergirl, which is really exciting. Um, the uh, Flash's villain, Gorilla Grodd. Oh, wow. Is, is also uh, a lot of fun. He, he plays, you know, different than you'd expect. And uh, Atrocitus, who is kind of like, you know, a big red angry version of green lantern <laughs> okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can think of him as that way red lantern he's he's the opposite of green lantern in almost every way but um you know we're gonna we're, i guess we can start go ahead and start the gameplay with them and give you an idea of the, this new system that we're introducing in justice 2 you know with injustice you know we always say oh you know it's big battle of the gods huge destruction transitions multiple arenas it's right it's awesome and um with with the sequel, of course, we're going to add new characters, you know, and expand on that whole thing. But the gear system, what we're calling the gear system, is really like the foundation of what is brand new, what we're bringing to the table, differentiated from Injustice, as well as differentiating it from other fighting games. Wow, very cool. So, like, with each match that you fight, uh, you, you'll be grabbing gear, or how, how does that work? Yeah, so, like, after a fight is done... Uh, you're going to uh, acquire some gear, and the gear actually powers up your character. So every character in the game has thousands and thousands of, you know, boots, utility belts, cowls, capes, oh, wow. so insignias, and when you when you finish playing the game, it's kind of like like XP. You know, you're you're getting a um, drops of gear, sure. and then you get to actually apply them to your character, and they power your character up in different ways. You know. Uh, defense, you know your your strength, your abilities that you use in the in the, you know with with your special moves and your and your health meter, and you are in a constant process of um, leveling up. So yeah. Guy, yeah. You know. Now does this carry on to like online also? Like will I be able to face like you know man's like you know Superman versus my Superman where it's decked out differently? Yeah, yeah, and and you know what you said is really key. It's like your Superman, right. your Batman, your Aquaman against somebody else's. And it's all personalized, and it is it is you literally customizing, molding your version of these characters that um, go up against somebody else's. I love that idea I, because you see so often, you know, there's certain characters who will be more popular than others, and yes. uh, you know, you, you see a lot of mirror matches. But now, like you said, like you can have your, you know, maybe I'll focus on like more offense type uh, gear, you know, versus uh, maybe Swifter's defense type, you know. Uh, gear exactly. Sounds great. You notice here that's a big transition. You can we actually again you can throw your opponent <laughs> into a new arena where there's a whole new palette of of you know objects that you can actually use in the fight. That was you know something that really uh, resonated with the, the the last injustice, and we really wanted to bring it over. Um, you know, and you look at these these characters again. You know, with uh, um, Atrocitus. You know, he is he is he, he's all about you know you know, anger and hate and blood. So he has all these kind of blood moves. He can bring out, you know, the... Uh, <laughs> and flying cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name is Dexter. And he's, <laughs> he's actually also a Red Lantern uh, in, the, in the DC lore. Whoa. And so Atroscus can bring him out, use him, and uh, he actually aids in the battle of the oh. fight. You know? Yeah, it's exciting. And, uh, you know, Gorilla Grodd is all about, you know, big kind of primal moves mixed in with telekinetic moves. He's, he's blasting them down back into the uh, the street arena in here. where... I, I was just going to say, and here we see the environmental uh, interaction again. Yeah, oh, yeah, busting through walls, bouncing off. You exactly. see the, the power of, like, these attacks. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, it, it, you know, we always describe it as, like, the battle of the gods, you know. Yeah. So, you know, you know, Grodd here is his... Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I love seeing, too, just, like, these two brawlers beat yeah. the crap out of each yeah, other. Yeah, the uh, variety of characters in this game is actually going to be even wider than the last one. So here, here is what we were talking about in terms of the gear. You know, like when you finish a round, your characters are leveling up. You know, you see this, the stats of their strength and all that. But then this gear that you're rewarded with, you know, the Curse of Rage, his new arms for, uh, for Atrocitus and Grodd has these. Uh, you can also be awarded gear for, for other characters. Yeah, I so just if noticed. If you want to level up your, your, your other characters, it kind of gives you an incentive to really build up the entire cast. That, that is very cool. That is all. I'm actually really, really excited about like, the loot drop system and like looking at like, oh, if I play so off against man, he's got like, oh, that, that awesome gauntlet. Like, what am I going to do? Like, yeah. know, counter that or whatever. Exactly. Or when you go online and you see somebody wearing some crazy crown, you're just like, you know, where did you get that? You exactly. know, and um, so it's, there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of like this big collection uh, mechanic going on. Oh man, what, when is this coming out? I'm sorry, I'm like jumping to that, but I just want to play. Uh, <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, we got to wait until uh, 2017. Oh! For, like, <laughs> for Bad Boy! Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, but it's it's going to be worth the wait. You know, like like well, like we were saying. You know, this you know bigger roster of characters. This whole this whole uh, gear stuff is going to be uh, so exciting. And um, you know, just the the w another great opportunity is you know with the first injustice. You know, there's always characters who didn't get in the roster. <laughs> of course. And a bunch of angry people that, <laughs> that, <laughs> right. that uh, characters didn't get get into the game. So a lot of it is satisfying those those people, you know, wanted to see exactly. Rossiters, wanted to see Super. Yeah, cool. comic book fans in particular can be pretty oh, uh, oh vocal <laughs> when they are yeah, uh, yeah. not listening. And, and, and it's, it's, it's a great thing. You know, I'd rather have people... Uh, passionate about it, even if passion. That's that's a anger. nice, polite way to put it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah. The people care, and uh, these games, of course, uh, you know, there are fans of just you know injustice itself. Like we were talking about earlier, the, the comic book uh, injustice has really taken off, and fans just love the setting, like the story uh, that the the first game brought. Oh, out. it was it was it was fantastic. It was you know such a great. Uh, kind of summary of the events leading up to the first game. That's yeah. what was so cool about it. And and uh, ooh, oh, yeah, yeah. He's he's really has anger issues. Like you said, I uh, and I love that idea that you guys uh, you know come from the perspective that it's like the gods, you know, like just these beings with like ultimate powers, just throwing down. Exactly. It's it's kind of like thinking of you know, um, you know, you, you have these these these. these Super-powered beings, all kind of assembled, and um, you know, a story that kind of gives them a reason to want to beat the crap out of each other. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, are there any changes to like you know, like the combo system or like the mechanics? I'm sure you guys are still kind of you know tweaking that, of course. Yeah, we're we're always you know refining it. We, we every every game we really want to add nuances that you know not only can be appreciated by kind of casual guys, but you know the hardcore fighting game guys. You know, we're really uh, big fans of. Uh, Esports and everything, and we really want to have this game be a big part of it with you know tournaments and and, and all that stuff. So w there's 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 a, a, a lot of uh, <laughs> really deep layers that we're, we we've added to the game for those players. Love seeing the back and forth there, like even as you choose the characters. Yeah, yeah it's that's a bit hard. Back like in Mortal Kombat, you always have like these like awesome, very custom interactions between characters. And is that like and exactly? We we were so happy with how that turned out. You know, and these characters, you know, they have a lot of them have relationships with, their, uh, with each other, and they have stories that they famous stories. They make references to those stories. It's awesome. it's, it's great. So you see a lot of nods to the um, to, to some of the comics you might have read, or so, um, and uh, or, or or something you might have seen in other media. And it's great how you see those relationships. So they talk to each other before a fight, and it, it really kind of it, it you'd be surprised how much it really uh, adds a, a level of. Uh, Depth. It really does. Absolutely, uh, keeping tr you know staying true to like uh, the original kind of like source material uh, that has come before. Because yeah, these characters, uh, you know, these are like the forefathers of you know the whole comic superhero comic scene, and uh, very cool that you guys have uh, taken that into account as well. Yeah, kept it yeah. in the game. Yeah, we're, we're you know and the characters like you know the returning characters, you know Aquaman. And Batman and Superman, you know, what's what's cool is we've given them new the moves worst? and, you know, really kind of updated them. So, like, you know, they're your favorite character. You love how they play. You know, there's going to be some familiarity about it, but there's also other layers of stuff. Yeah. Man, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Super Poor girl. Aquaman. She's not, she's not oh. messing around. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a transition uh, into a, a train. I don't know if you guys have seen it uh, on, on the right side that is really um, cool because it's got... Um, you can actually, you know, the guy is actually like kind of spinning through the train here. Oh, yeah. oh, are we about to see it? Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, Aquaman. that's great. I love how it's Aquaman too. He's just getting knocked around. Poor Aquaman. Oh, yeah, he's got this awesome super move that's um, so, uh, uh, you know, it's probably one of one of my favorite ones in the game right now. It's just kind of really, uh, it's just so ridiculously over the top. Yeah. Considering his last one had this the start, this big sharp. Mm -hmm. He really wanted to have something that kind of. One up that whole thing. Wow. Is it or yeah. Yeah. I think we're seeing it right now. Look at that. Oh, oh it's looking like prehistoric. It's not even over. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, sick. Yeah. I just want to say Supergirl, she actually deserved that. Like yeah. she's, she's been knocking him around a while. Yeah. Look at that. Oh man, I'm I'm probably most excited for the loot system though. That sounds like so like amazing. Just keep me coming back, you know, looking forward to the end of every match. Exactly. You know, like fighting games are really all about, you know traditionally have been about, you know, here's the character that we made, you learn it, you master it, you get it. Now we're, we're you know, we're all about kind of giving the player more personalization into it.
All right, now it's on to the games. We've got Ed Boone here live. Ed, uh, it's so exciting that you're here. Injustice 2 just announced last week. You had the big tournament this weekend. First gameplay trailer, and now you're here to show us some real gameplay. Ed, we were out in uh, Chicago with you a few weeks ago. This game looks incredible. How has the reaction been so far? It's been... Uh, um Better than we can have expected. I, uh, yeah. I, you know, you're, there's always this little bit of nerves that we have when we, you know, kind of launch a game, kind of give birth to it, and uh, the response has been um, tremendous, especially the gameplay uh, yeah. that we just recently uh, showed, and uh, everybody's just, you know, all the speculation yeah. who's in the game, who, who people want to see in the game. It's just so much fun. We can't wait to uh, show you a little more. Well, let's take a look now at Injustice 2. You brought some uh, brand new gameplay footage that we can check out, and. This game looks incredible. One of the things when we were in Chicago that I thought was absolutely amazing was uh, the super moves that you have. And yeah. you teased some yeah. of them in the trailer with, uh, obviously, uh, you got uh, Batman and Superman and, and going at each other. But uh, tell us, you know, this game, let's talk about sort of the customizations. One of the things we were in Chicago you're talking a lot about is how everyone's going to have a different Batman or a different Superman, right? Yeah. Tell us how that works. Yeah, you know, um, it, you know, fighting games are all about, you know, the character that you're playing. And for the most yeah. part, when people play the character, you know, it's the character that we made, and you basically learn it, you master it, you, uh, you know, you, you learn the nuances of it, but you don't really change what it does. And that's kind of what we're introducing with this game. We're really like saying, okay, here's a base version of Aquaman, here's a base version of Superman, uh, Superman Atrocitus, and that's your starting point. And yeah. then when you start you start acquiring gear, and that gear actually makes your character more powerful. And you choose, you're the one who chooses what it is that it's going to enhance as far as the, um, the <laughs> part of the game. And, uh, you know, as, as, as we can see before, you know, our super moves were kind of like, we set such a high bar before, it's kind of like, yeah. so we're trying to really just uh, supersede all this one. Uh, I love that made. that's all an engine, all this insanity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, I know at E3 here, you're showing, I think it's what, you have three areas, four characters, or what, are we, what can we expect? Uh, we're going to see six characters. Six characters. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah, in three arenas. Uh, wow. They're kind of like famous ones, you know, uh, Metropolis. Uh, Gotham City and Atlantis. Um, you might notice as you're as you're as you're seeing the gameplay here is, uh, you know, when you see Batman for the second time, he looks a little bit different. That's because that's a different Batman. When you see a Grodd for the second time, it's a little bit different. Yeah. Everybody's is going to look different, and that's what's so exciting about it because they're going to actually have, you know, the most personalized. The personalization is what we're really adding to this game as far as, you know, making your version of Batman, your version of Superman, your version of the Grodd, and oh my God. Uh, just the outrageousness in it. It looks insane. Well, Ed, thank you so much for stopping by to give us a uh, little sneak peek here at Injustice 2. Thanks for having uh, us. I'm, we'll see. We're so happy to be the first uh, guest here of course, on the show. I, you, uh, really, you, uh, you deliver a pretty amazing game, so it's a great way to kick off E3. Ed, thank you. we'll see you uh, on the show floor. We'll yeah. go head to head. All right. Above my weight. What do you want, Grodd? 
your head on a plate. say that battle changes you. It makes you stronger. More ferocious. fight. 